everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a another lot that I got from 888 Lots. It is a grocery and supplement lot. Um, we bought it for $298 plus $72 to ship it. It's a total of six boxes. It's supposed to be 144 units. So it comes out to $2.57 per item. I'm going to be doing these six boxes in a three-part series. So we'll do two boxes per video for you. That way they don't run too long or too short. So for each box, we paid a total of $61.67 per box. So let's dig in and see what we've got. So for those of you don't, that don't know, I sell on eBay. I buy liquidation items and I sell them on eBay for a profit. Now all of this stuff is supposed to be in brand new resellable condition. Um, most of it is shelf pulls. Most of it is um, stuff that is overstocked, overstock and shelf pulls. So basically we're taking a risk with this one though because this is groceries um they did manifest this so i kind of have an idea of what's going on but there's always a 10 percent variance so they can always take something and substitute it with something else um the problem that you run into with groceries and supplements that's why you don't see a lot of people doing these kind of lots is because the stuff does expire but I'm taking this on the condition that the company said that it's brand new and resellable. So we'll see, but there's always a risk there because of that expiration date. So got the packing on the top. And I see in this first one, there's a lot of bigger items. So the first item we have is Typhoon Tea. It's sealed, but it's pretty beat up. But Typhoon Tea. And next we have quite a few of these, so I'll pull all of these out. This is Seattle's Best Portside Blend Coffee, medium roast. So there's one, two, three of those in here so far. Coffee's always good. Now, if it's not an expensive name brand, Seattle's Best is some pretty good coffee, but I do know that there's a lot of it out there on the market. So if it's not sellable, if it's not worth selling, um, me and my husband will keep it and use it. Next, we have a bottle of Keto Burn. So Keto Burn, diet pills. Let's check the expiration on that. And it is one of 2021. So that's this month. Um, so I'll be getting this listed as soon as possible. Not expired yet, technically, but it's real close. Next we have, okay, so I'm going to pull out all of these. We have Armor Vienna Sausages, a six pack. Now I do know from the manifest, I already expected this. There's going to be a lot of these. Um, so we're going to check and see if these are resellable. Um, if they're not worth selling online, then um, me and my husband have already talked about it and we're probably going to donate them to a church or a food bank or something like that. So I'm going to check an expiration for an expiration date. So let's see here. Um, oh, thank God. Okay, <laughs> best by January 2023, so we still have another two years to go on these, so that is good news, good news. So I'll pull out all of those. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have six of these in this box. Armor Vienna Sausages six packs. Next we have, ah, 
a six pack. Wow. The other one's down in here. A six pack of Ensure Plus. Looks like vanilla. So I'll check for an expiration date. Expires, expires April 2021. Okay, so these are still good and uh, in resellable condition. So that's good. So a six pack of those. And it looks like we have maybe about four more items in here to go. Next, we have Pink Stork Fertility Sweet Mint Tea. It's probably going to be some pretty good money right there, um, if it's not expired. Best Buy 2022. So that's good. Good. Good to see. Next, we have... I didn't even know that these were in here. Um, breakfast Essentials, um, Carnation, uh, Rich Milk Chocolate Breakfast Drink. So a 12 pack of those. Those are pretty heavy. That's uh, probably not gonna be worth it to ship. So nine times out of 10, we'll keep them and drink them ourselves or we will donate them. And I'm gonna check for an expiration here. I'm not seeing one right away. So we'll have to look into the expiration on these as well. Yeah, those are pretty heavy. Got two more items in here. Oh, this box is falling apart on me. Um, this is Planters Honey Roasted Peanuts. So there, it's an 18 pack. So an 18 pack of Planters Honey Roasted Peanuts. Now these are fairly light, so they will they will sell and it won't cost too much money to ship. Let's see what the expiration is. February of 2021. So I will have to be I will have to list these like right away. They're still good. I'll just have to get them up there right away. But snack foods, they sell pretty fast. And we have a three-pack stuck together of Werther's Original Sugar-Free Caramel Candy. Okay, this is sugar-free, so it's probably it's probably going to sell because people look for snacks and stuff like this online that they can't find in their stores, so we'll check into that. And uh, so a three-pack of Werther's Sugar-Free Candy. So that's it for this box. So I'm going to get this out of my way and grab another one from behind me. That's a heavy one. All right, let's see what we got in the second box. So, so far so good on those expiration dates for the majority of that stuff, so that's good to see. Right, we're into the second box now. And right on the top, I see another Typhoo tea, 240 servings. So, um, and this is very light. The box is a little beat up, but it's very light. So um, it wouldn't cost too much to ship. So, and the good thing about this is having multiple quantities of stuff is that I can use one listing and just keep selling over and over and over again. So that's good. And next we have <laughs> packets of iodized salt, 1,200 individual packets. So yeah, not too exciting. It's pretty light, so it would be it would be cheap to ship. So let's see if it's got an expiration. Best by September 2021, so we've got plenty of time to get rid of this. And really, does salt expire? Come on. So not an exciting item, but it is sellable. Next we have What's Up Baby? Apple Banana Kino Cereal. That's interesting. And I don't see an expiration right away. Um, huh. 
oh, Best Buy May of 2021. So it's still within the limit of selling. We've still got quite a few months to go on this one. So that's good. Next we have Girardelli Intense Dark Chocolate. So, and it's wide open. That's interesting, but the chocolates are individually packed. So, but because it's wide open, I'm sure some are missing, as you can see. The seal has come off. So more than likely, uh, me and my hubby will be snacking on these. Or I can donate them. Oh, and we have more. Okay. I didn't expect to have this many in there. That's interesting. So we've got two more. These are sealed packs, though. These two are sealed. So let's check for an expiration date. 5-2021. So these are still sellable, so that's good. I can lot them together and sell them in one, one fail swoop there. And keep the other one for us. Next we have more coffee. Next we have Collagen Peptides Bio Plus. So that's nice. Some of this stuff can be pretty expensive. Let's check expiration date. Huh, we're still good. July of 2022. So that's another, what, year and a half from now. So that's good. Makes me happy to see that. Next we have more Vienna Sausages. And next we have 310 Shake Triple Plex Protein Blend. So it's protein shake. Look for an expiration of 522. So that's still good for over another year. So that is great. That's good stuff. I'm run out of room here. Next we have Pepto Bismol. Chewable tablets, pack of 25. They are a little beat up, so I'll have to check into that package. I'll have to, uh, it's already open, so I'll have to make sure all of it's in there and sell it as open box, um, but it, because it's packets though, we should be good to go on that. Next we have another six pack of Insure, Insure Vanilla. Ooh. Next we have a very smashed What's up, baby? More apple banana cereal. Quinoa cereal. More apple banana quinoa cereal. Um, because the packages are pretty beat up on those, I'll have to uh, pull that out and make sure they're all good to go. Sell it as a uh, damaged box. But believe it or not, damaged box stuff sells. Next, we have Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement. So that looks pretty good. Um, Best Buy July of 2021. So we still got a good bit of time to go on there. It's pretty light, so first class easily. So uh, yeah, that's good. Next, we have more Vienna sausages. More Vienna sausages and more Vienna sausages. Ooh, this is pretty heavy. Next we have the original chai tea latte, organic and gluten free. That's interesting. Never seen something like that. Um, oh, May 2021, so we're still good. Problem is, this is super heavy. This is like a, like a chicken broth container or a soup container. Pretty heavy stuff here, so more than likely this will be donated. Next we have Busby.com Sweet Squeeze Florida Honey Raw and Unfiltered Orange Blossom Honey. And I know honey can be pretty expensive. Yes, it's heavy, but the thing is, is if, it, if it's going for a good price, um, you can always ship it to priority mail. So 
yeah, orange blossom honey. It's to be sealed and everything. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's got to seal completely around. So that's good. We're getting down to the bottom of the box here. So more of the planter's peanuts, 18 packs of planter's peanuts, honey roasted. That stuff will sell, snacks always sell. And we got another one, little beat up box, but you know, even on stuff like this, you can remove, I've seen sellers on eBay remove this stuff out of the boxes and sell them as one big giant lot without the box. And sometimes that helps with shipping too because you don't have a big bulky package to ship. You can squeeze them down and put them in a smaller box or a smaller container. So, got lots of peanuts and lots of Vienna sausages. Next, we got one more Vienna sausage. One more Vienna sausage. We're getting down to the bottom here. A Pepto-Bismol pack that escaped. Two more items down in this one. This is Da Bomb Beyond Insanity Hot Sauce. That's interesting, and it still has its seal, plastic seal. Let's check for an expiration date real quick. I'm not seeing one. Okay, so product of Kansas. So we'll have to check into that, but it is completely sealed. I do not see an expiration date, so I'll have to look at that further, but yeah, sealed bottle of hot sauce. Some of that stuff could be pretty expensive too. And we're down to the last and final item. We have intestinal edge dietary supplement. So that's a supplement to, uh, to help with your digestive system. It is completely sealed. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me check the expiration date. I'm not sure if it has one. Oh, great. It is November of 2022. So we still have a year, almost two years to go on that. So that's good, it's nice and fresh, it's sealed, that's great. All right, so we're down to the, the last of the box there. That's it, we have no more left. So what I will do is I will go off and I will figure out how much money I can make off of all of this stuff and I'll be right back to let you know. Hey everybody, so we're back. Um, my husband helped me to figure out approximately how much we could get for this stuff. We looked up prices. How I research prices is we go by sold listings on eBay. You never go by what they have listed because the prices range way too far. You can have $23 from one seller, $5 from another seller. I like to know what I'm actually going to make, so I look at the sold listings. So a few highlights, this honey, this particular brand of honey, it is Orange Blossom Raw and Unfiltered Honey. These are going for 40 bucks each, so an average of 40. So what I'm going to do is obviously sell them um, and they're gonna go in a flat rate box um, from the postal service. That way I could still make a pretty good profit on it. So we are gonna sell those. This is too heavy and it wasn't really a lot of money. I think they were going for about 12 bucks each. So we're gonna keep the tea. We're gonna keep the carnation breakfast drinks. Too heavy to ship. We're gonna keep all of the coffee. Um, these are only going for about six to seven dollars uh, per bag. I could lot them up into a large lot and sell them and actually make a profit off of it. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But for right now, I think my plan is to go ahead and keep this. Um, we're only paying, what did I say, $2.57 per bag, and that's cheaper for us to just keep that versus going to the grocery store and paying $6 a bag. So we'll see about that. Um, the insurers, these are going for about $16 right now for a six pack, so we will definitely be selling both of those. Um, some of the other stuff, this uh, barbecue sauce, believe it or not, for a tiny bottle is going for about $16. This 13, this uh, 310 shake, um, I think my husband said was $30 to $35 for this. Um, these intestinal edges, I do have these listed already on one of my listings and 
I think I'm asking $12.99 for them. So I just counted $9.99 to play it safe. I do think there's gonna be more of these. So that's kind of cool because I can put them all in one listing, even though they're selling cheap, you're still making a profit. You're getting your money back. You're shipping it first class and you're still like double, doubling or tripling your money really when it comes down to it on this kind of stuff because it's easy to ship and it's light to ship. So the Vienna sausages, we decided we're gonna get a little creative. Um, lots of these sell on eBay and the prices are crazy. Um, you've got some that are selling for seven bucks for a six pack and then you've got some that are selling literally for uh, 16 and 17 dollars for a six pack i'm not sure why i think it has a lot to do with international shipping um so we're going to check into that we're going to get creative and i think we're going to put like two six packs together or three six packs together whatever it takes to get rid of these so what i decided to do is just count five dollars per six pack and that's very reasonable um that's not that's not crazy to count that as five dollars a six pack actually i'm probably lowering the price of what i'm actually going to get for them so we just played it safe <coughs> excuse me i did five five dollars per six pack of vienna sausages so the total for both of these boxes that we paid remember we paid um 61 dollars and 67 cents per box so both of these boxes together was $123.34 for both of these boxes that we just opened up. Overall, after counting up everything, and this is even keep in mind us keeping the coffee, us keeping the tea, us keeping the breakfast drinks, $340. Then you take off for eBay fees, shipping fees, you take off the cost of the boxes, we're coming out and looking at an average of about $130 for this. So that's not bad. Considering that we paid $123.34 for all of this, we're going to get back after fees and everything, $130. We're going to get to keep some coffee. We're going to get to keep some tea. Pretty good deal to me. So I'm happy with this. The expiration dates were good. <coughs> Excuse me, for the most part, the expiration dates were good on things. Some of the boxes were a little beat up, but I'm happy. So it was fun doing groceries and supplements for something different. This is gonna be the first video of a three-part series. We will link the other um, videos uh, underneath each video so that you can catch up on all of them. And uh, yeah, this was fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did watching this. If you like this kind of content and you wanna see more of it, please hit the subscribe button down below. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.